Hi everyone, this is Kay here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here today and I hope that you like what I'm going to share today as well and please give me a thumbs up, make a comment, that would be really helpful to make my channel grow and um, hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more. First of all I'm going to show you <coughs> a envelope pocket that I've made as for a swap that I'm in a, in a Facebook group with and it had to be a botanical um, kind of thing so I've made mine into a herb one so I've collaged the envelope both sides and put some washi tape down the middle and the envelope is opened up on the top here and inside the envelope pocket we've got on one side of the pocket we've got a little notebook with some papers in there papers to be used by the person who gets the swap. We can add it to another journal of their own if they wanted to I suppose. And made a, a tag for the other side where I've used the same paper as what the book was made out of. Um, you can journal on the back and at the front I've made a pocket where I've put some herb things in for German cards, that one, and that one is just the decoration of the herb as well. Try to keep it all herbal. And that goes in this pocket. Oops, oh, sorry, not my bit of papers over that I've left left here. That's, might have to put some more glue. Looks like it's come come off there. Oh no, well, and then also I've just um put this on as a little extra thing for to make more um, pockets if I wanted a little bit of paper that matches this paper here and some more bits and pieces from the herb book that I used that I want to make more tags or decorate another journal with a pop thing as well so that's supposed to be there like that it's supposed to be I forgot so there's that one from my Facebook share and then I finished this journal using Uniquely Creative Tapestry of Time kit and I did um, altered an old book so I wanted to keep the red around the around the outside because I thought that looked really really effective and um, I actually did want to keep just keep the red but I just couldn't work it out how to to make it look so it was really nice and I've got some corners coming so I'm going to put corners on there some lace on the spine here and the paper on the back is the same as the ones on the front. Um, it's got a ribbon closure with crinkled, what's it called? Ribbon? <laughs> so inside I created a po uh, some pockets using some envelopes. So I found some old photographs in a, in a magazine that I have and this is an old rabbit truck and I found that I had a tapestry book so I thought that the field of top of uh, poppies was really good for the pockets so there's one pocket that I made out of one envelope and there's two tags I made using the same from the same book with the poppies being created on a field using tapestry and materials so there's oh I need to do the back of that one um, so I'll keep it out. Um, so that is goes in there, and uh, that goes to the back of that one envelope. And then there's the other envelope here. And in the, that envelope, I've actually got a picture of a man sitting on the fence, and this kilpie, and some uh, uh, Australian Land Army volunteers, which are helping out in the fields with Jim the Wall. And <coughs> this was in the kit for some old back of Australia. There's nothing on the back they can use, however, like so. And I just put that in there because and there's just the back of the envelopes to make it look um, as part of the journal. So they go back in there. I put them just on uh, ordinary card just to give them a bit of stability because they are paper from old, really old magazines. I'm going to keep this tag out because I need to fix it. That I could do a bit more as well. Put that one back. So I've got two two um, 
signature, so they're both the same cover. This both came from the collection. I found some old Australian books. This is a um, story of the colonies, and I decorated the front of this pocket here. And in here, I've got from the kit. This is also from the kit, and this is a another that's the back of that. So that's why I just decorated that pocket there and used some elements from the kit. The memories and the pair of scissors. The other things are from my stash. Some photocopy paper. There's the same map that I had before, but kept it the same, the original size and folded it over. A card, which I thought the colours worked well, and Australian birds. This is a story about some people who first settled in Australia, their story, so called Green Mountains, so I put, popped it in because I thought that was relevant for the old days. Some uh, embossed paper, photocopy paper, this, these are wildflowers of the Adelaide Hills, I thought that would tie in nicely because this is an Australian book. So I used some washi tape here with some the sewing, the theme, and an Australian legend, the legend of the Goanna, so I thought that would be good in there too. Some music paper, I use some of the washi tape here, and there's the back of a map that's in Western Australia, called Guardies in Western Australia, a gold mining place. And there's that same element that I had here, it's, there's a, in the middle of the, the signature, and there's a an envelope that I've decorated the cover with, and in the envelope you've got some words here, and on the back there's some of the paper there, and just some of the other paper, just to be used if, to create more pockets or to create more elements whoever the buyer wants to use it for and I just um, because that's an envelope so that drips out like that and I've covered the back of the envelope with some lace and here on this side of the writing paper I've created a side pocket which is also needs fixing <laughs> and a little notebook that I created out of some paper I had I thought it looked like it looked like old wallpaper and I, the colours match the colours of the collection so I made a little um, um, what do you call it? Photograph frame for the picture. Goes in the pocket there. But I kept it that side round so that it would fit because of the lace on the top. And I used another poppy field element on that side. Need to leave that out too. So I just repeat it again. There's that story of the one about the car. There's the, the stories that I had. The legends. More of the Green Mountain story. The back of the card, so I've put some words in there and a, a playing card and a piece of pink cardstock that could be used for something. I use the pink cardstock on the front to create this here and here, so just a bit of continuity. You think you go around and you think you stick everything down with glue, and then you look along and you think, Oh, that's gonna come up, so I'll stick that back down again. Here. So just the continued, the signature continued. There's the back of that Australian history book. And there's the new the new signature. It's got similar things in it, like old pictures of the history of Australia, some of the birds. This is also a tapestry created of an Australian farm house, which I thought in the country, which I thought would work really well in here. A bit of ledger paper and some scrap paper, scrap paper left over from the collection and also I put a bit of uh, wallpaper because the inside of the journal has got wallpaper. You can't see it so much here but you will be able to in the back when I show you that in a minute. So I've just popped them all in this pocket that I decorated with elements from the kit. I tried to do, because it's called Tapestry of Time, it's got sewing sort of things, I tried to do some sort of like sewing um, ephemera. Like I said, uh, this is obviously created by sewing, that picture. And on here I've got a little little pocket. Oh, I've got to be very careful, because it's just thin paper. This is not even a little pocket, it's just a little folder of some poppies and some roses if a person wants to make it a bit of a uh, wanted to use some it for Anzac memory memorabilia or stories. You could do that. Back of that wallflower paper. It's 
some another little pocket here with some advertisements that come from the collection. It's a couple. Another back they've got there's more. And there's a Anzac Day badge there for the person who wants to if they wanted to. And good memories. There should be the back in a bit of uh, advertisement for Little for Brisbane. So just decorate that picture of that pocket with that. And there's another envelope which just can be flipped out like that. And in this envelope I have got lots of elements. As you can see, so they're all in there. And the back of the, on the envelope will cover there. And here have little tuck pot spot here. And I've got some playing cards. That, there's that kangaroo one there. But I've also popped this one with a kangaroo paw. That can be possibly altered and there's some lots of little tags and things in here lots of them and some more back here another little poppy embroidery some more advertisements and a piece of the cardstock from the collection just to pop that all in there to be used there's nothing this is the story of the, lake, of the Goanna again, the wildflowers of the Adelaide Hills, Green Mountain story, similar same things as the first signature with some more elements here in this little pocket that I've created. Oh, that's stuck. I'll have to fiddle over that in a minute. Alright, things never go smoothly when you're doing video, ever. <laughs> the back of the signature. And because I use this... <coughs> This lace through through the um, that lace through the through the collection. I just here through the through the journal. I just thought I'd pop the rest of the lace that I haven't cut. That was from a doily. Um, if, uh, this is obviously handmade and made onto the old. But the, this material here is quite old, so I thought I'd just pop that in there for the person to use. If they wanted to do more lace on there journal if they wanted to because I'm not a lacy over uh, I don't do a lot of lace in my journals but the person I'm giving, who wants to buy it might want to have some lace so that's for that there so you can see there's the wallpaper there and the back is just like there's the lace and my name paper craft and Kate. so thank you so much for looking at my I've made lately and I really hope that you like them please give me the thumbs up make a comment that'd be really lovely just love reading your comments it's so kind and lovely and uh, give me a subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time bye bye